A tragic start to a holiday leaves one dead, and now the question remains, will the owner of a fireworks stand be prosecuted? After authorities say the individual fired a fatal shot at a suspect who robbed the stand. Two Works Free reporter Katie Wisely is in Tulsa County where the events unfolded. Katie. It all happened just before 1130 here behind me. A tragedy for both families on the day we celebrate independence. The goal is to get you to fill your basket. Well, that's John Black's. Give me $20 worth of $20 of those. This is his third year selling fireworks in Tulsa County. I was thinking firecrackers for some reason. He's just 100 yards from his competition. What well, could have happened here? Tulsa County Sheriff deputies say two young men robbed this fireworks stand and fired shots at the owner, who then fired back. It wouldn't matter where I was at. I wouldn't care if I was in South Tulsa. I'd still be carrying. Deputies say the owner of the fireworks stand jumped in the back of the suspect's getaway truck, attempting to get the fireworks back. It ended here on West Edison Street in front of Mike Wearsback's home. I was taught since I was little right from wrong, and yes from no. Keep your hands in your own pockets. Don't steal from people, don't go into their house, or bad things will happen. Authorities say one of the suspects died from a gunshot wound. The owner wasn't hurt. Well, I think it's a very big tragedy and no, no, no two ways about it. The second suspect still on the loose and with the stolen fireworks. Law enforcement believe the suspect took off in a red Dodge car with three people. I have mixed feelings on both sides of that story, you know. There, there's both sides. This man ready at a moment's notice. It's a good right and most generally the law abiding citizen is not abusing that right. And he'll be ready if he's next. <laughs> The owner of the fireworks stand has been questioned by the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office and released at this time. The investigation is ongoing. Reporting in Tulsa County, Katie Wisely, Two Works for you.